What's up, YouTube? Optho Info back with another wiki video. Check it out. Quick question: What's this? Besides boring, okay, I know it's boring. This is a this is my picture, photo, mnemonic, illustration, whatever of the embryologic origin of the globe. Turn my car off so you can hear better. Um, and it's super simple. You know my mnemonic. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, and one of the viewer asked for. Uh, any mnemonics that I had for the embryology of the eye. I don't have much. I haven't committed much to memory, obviously. Um, but I just wanted to share sort of um, how I think about the uh, embryology of the globe. Um, and I realize I think about it from two specific angles. One is I just remember this picture. I just had this picture committed to memory. Um, and then the other was from a clinical standpoint. Uh, when I was first learning about the um, irritocorneal dysgenesis, Axenfeld, Rigers, and Peters. Um, I read that uh, it was defective neural crest, DNC, run DNC. It was always what stuck in my mind for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, defective neural crest and Axenfeld, Rigers. Um, I, when I read that, I didn't know what the neural crest was, uh, but I knew what you know what structures were jacked up with Axenfeld and with, or Axenfeld, Rigers, and with um, Peters. So then I was like, oh, okay. Well, then I guess. You know, you get a jacked up iris, you get a jacked up endothelium, you get a jacked up stroma. Um, so those must be where the neural crest is. Uh, those must be neural crest cell origin, which is the case. So, and if you know that, then you can sort of extrapolate. Uh, the rest is pretty intuitive. Like the retina is obviously going to be the neuroectoderm because it's an extension of the brain. And the epithelium on, on the surface of the eye, the corneal epithelium, is going to be uh, surface ectoderm and the drainage system of the eye um, is surface ectoderm. So all that's sort of intuitive if you just know the simple fact that if you know what axenfeld rigers are or Peters and you know that that's the DNC, defective neural crest, then you can figure out the rest because surface is on the surface and the brain is neuroectoderm. Uh, oh, and then also things that I didn't even draw on here because they're also super intuitive um, is like a, uh, the mesoderm, which is muscles, you know, every, like everywhere else in the body, with the rec with the recti. Uh, these are terrible recti. Should be drawn like this. Um, so, the the muscles are are the mesoderm. There's a few nuances like what what makes up certain certain portions of the sclera, um, or and what makes up the muscles and the sphincter. I think the sphincter uh, muscles and the dilator, the muscles of the iris, are made up of neuroectoderm. Um, but really, that's not even that nuanced. I mean, look at the dilator muscle and the constrictor. They're so close. They're essentially a continuation of the IPE, which is neuroectoderm. And then you got the lens. The lens, you know, it sort of messes up the layering where the surface ectoderm's on the surface and the brain of the neuroectoderm's in the back, but um, and the neural crest being in the middle. But not really, because if you remember anything from that one animation of the embryologic origin of the eye you you probably hold on to just the, that one picture of the optic vesicle uh capturing some of the surface ectoderm to form the lens i don't know any more than that but uh yeah the lens is made up of surface ectoderm so yeah you know maybe this helps you get a point or two on a test one day otherwise it's not really useful but Again, the take-home message is just think about defective neural crest cells being the problem with the uh, irritocorneal uh, dysgenesis diseases. And uh, whatever's on the surface of that, whatever's on top of that is surface ectoderm, and whatever's below that is, um, is neuroectoderm. You know, starting with the iris pigment epithelium around to the uh, pigment and non-pigmented of the ciliary body all the way to, back to the, um, to the retina. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll keep this one short, under five minutes. Catch y'all next week. Peace.